Hey everyone, I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to do batch rendering in Final Cut Pro, the newest version. <clears throat> and this is without any plugins or compressor or anything needed. It's just pure native Final Cut Pro. Um, so as you see here, this is the newest Final Cut Pro version. Uh, Final Cut Pro 10, but it's a different uh, point number uh, because there's a new MacBook Pro and there's a touch bar, so they rehauled everything. But other than that, the coding's all the same, so all your plugins will still work and everything. Um, anyhow, I see a lot of videos in the past that have to use like um, external things like a uh, compressor to queue up for batch rendering. Um, what they don't tell you that compressor is like 50 bucks. So I'm just going to show you how to do it without it. It's very easy. So as you see here, uh, all I have right here is just a video clip with a glitch effect over it um, and a song. Um, so first thing you want to do, go to share. You want to make sure um, that the export file, which is what I'm going to show you today, because a lot of people use this, is set to default. If not, just go to Add Destination, double click on this, or right click on this, hit Make Default. Now, what you want to do that for is when something is set to default, it assigns the hotkey to it. Um, this hotkey is Command E, as you can see. Um, so that just makes it very easy. Um, anyway, so as you can see right now, we have nothing in the sharing or rendering or anything. So uh, I'm just going to hit Command E. Uh, I'm just going to title this, name the song, which is uh, Lost in Space. Okay. Now, so now you can see that it is now transcoding. And it's only one line because it does transcoding and then it goes to sharing after that. Anyhow, uh, let me just swap this song real quick. Uh, Second, okay, so this is a different version of the song, same length, so just gonna be another a totally different video. Uh, so, as you can see, before I hit the share button, <clears throat> it's still working on this one. So, if I hit the share button again, the command D, now when you look at it, there's they added the export file to the queue. Um, <clears throat> so there you have it. You don't need a compressor. You can just keep on doing this. You could do uh, in the same project or in multiple projects. So you switch before quick. Uh, this is really nice because some of these things last a long time. You don't want to be waiting for a clip to be done to send another one. So you can set make a whole bunch of them. Just go to sleep, wake up in the morning. It's all done. Um, there you have, it, folks. Thanks for watching.